Hello everyone and welcome to Expect Ridiculum. Muzan is marching into Buyashiki's mansion. His body is melding into Visteria incense covering the entire grounds, but he's so strong and unstoppable that his body keeps regenerating. At this point, it seems like all the Visteria incense does is slowing him down and giving the animators time and joy to perfect this scene to satisfy our needs and build the tension towards the new episode. Ubuyashiki is lying down, slowly dying. Next to him is incredibly brave and caring wife, who decided to remain until their last moments together. Is it tragic or romantic, or do they have a plan? Have they accepted their deaths, or do we have unknown bodyguards waiting to strike Muzan down? You guys, I am terrified that the master and his wife will die in a cruel and gruesome way. After all, Muzan has no mercy, be it human or demons, and nothing will stand in his way to obtain the cure. The cure that will allow him and his kind to face the sunlight with no fear, to completely devour humanity. Now, if that's not scary, I don't know what is. For new people on this channel, I'm Alex, and I highly encourage you to check my Patreon exclusive anime linked below, or simply subscribe to my channel and new videos will appear on your feed. But without further ado, let's get on this episode. Boom! All right, not to spoil the mood, but Muzan is still walking. And it looks like he's breaking through the Visteria flowers barrier that seemed to be melting his body, but his superior regenerative abilities are just beyond and Visteria flowers does nothing to him. Are you also watching on your headphones? The sound is amazing. It goes so well with this opening. I think he's slowed down by the barrier. It's not a s editing slow mo, I think he was genuinely slowed down by the barrier. And there he is. Brace yourself. Brace yourself and abandon all the hope. Already looking down on him, isn't he? The Hashira unite! We are down for some action. And yet you can't see him. Thousand years. Good description. He's so calm, though. But how? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You are much more hideous, Muslim, though. He's getting up. What? And he's still alive. Wow. Oh, that's some willpower. That's really admirable. Wow. I feel bad for Boyashiki. 
一族から出してしまったせいで私の一族は呪われていた。That's so unfair for his family. It's not like they wanted it to happen. たちは皆病弱ですぐに死んでしまうがいよいよ耐えかけたとき。カンヌから助言を受けたのものを倒すために。神血を注みなさいそうすれば一族は絶えない代々神職の一族から妻をもらい子供も死にづらくなったがそれは我が一族の誰も三十年と生きられない Only thirty. And it's all because of Muzan for thousands of years. How despicable. Oh, that's a punishment. On its own. You're your own punishment. Why are his children there? So peaceful. And they seem like careless and happy singing this song. What's going on? What is this atmosphere? Just them! And not a single bodyguard! Will you do? Kimi no yume wa kanawanai yo, Muza. Mae to chigai, watashi ni wa tappuri to jikan ga aru. Kimi wa omoi chigai o shite iru. Chiwa eien ga nani ka shite iru. Gosh, he's so calm and yet badass. Right. That's right. The world to defeat demons. It's a beautiful scene. Ha! And nobody will. Oh, 
トラやリュウ君は起こした彼らはずっと君を睨んでいるよ。絶対に逃がすまいと。Ready to face him and defeat him. Watashi o Koroshita to Korode Kisatai wa itakumo kayukumo nai. In fact, it will build rage within them. Sore hodo juyo janai da Kono Hito no omoito tsunagariga Kimi niwa Likai dekinai da rone Muzan. And you underestimated. Hell yes! So that's true! Whole lineage of demons will die if Muzan dies! Wow! ずっと君に言いたかったことは言えた。私自身はそれほど重要ではないと言ったが、私の死が無意味なわけではない。That's true. It's going to spark. 幸運なことに気さつたい。特に柱の子たちから。It's going to spark the rage. つまり。私が死ねば、今まで以上に、鬼殺隊の士気が上がる。They were all head for you, Muzan. 話は終わりだ。Oh no, that's the moment I'm really scared of that him. こんなに話を聞いてくれるとは。He will massacre them. 緊急招集、緊急招集。Kraus. But guys, well, the crowds won't get there on time. If it's just now, there's no way that. And they are going to witness this massacre, right? I can imagine the gruesome scene. This poor family, cursed for generations. Hashira, two, Oyakata, sama no goe ni tsukeru beki da ze. Nan to ka deki nai no ka. Kura san yo. Muri da na. Da to yu kichou na sen lyuk wa. Onore hitori no tame ni tsukau mono dewa nai to no itte. How noble of him. Komatta mono da. Wow. Yodo yashiki ke no rekirai toshu wa. Mina. 誰一人として護衛をつけなかったそうですね。They just lived hidden, knowing that something bad could happen. Or do they have some sort of power? Which I really want them to make it in time, but the mansion. So there is a chance. What? Don't tell me. They are blowing everything, including Muzan. Holy shit! I was not expecting that. This is a tragic end. But at least on their own terms. Ooh. Gosh, they haven't made it in time. I'm shocked, honestly. I, I could never ever expect them to blow themselves up, to sacrifice themselves and the whole lineage. Sorry, but that looks pathetic to say the least.
But he's regenerating fast. Too fast. Creepy. <laughs> he was not expecting that, was he? He totally did. He must have trained himself whole life for this. Big time. That's a massive fuck you to your Muzan. <laughs> nice. For the Hashira to come. Something else. Who says that's not his power? That's something else. Nezuko? Surely not. Wow. They have a chance now. He's trapped. Lady Tamayo, the doctor. Spot on! Oh my god, she's so badass! She totally got him off! Holy shit! Hell yes! She's going to turn him into human? And then the whole demon race will disappear! That must be true since he's so angry. So she chose to become a demon. You're so cruel, Muzan. Not that I didn't know. Imagine the stone Hashira. Now you are screwed, Mozan. That was such a bad scene. Wow. Isn't that what he wanted to hear from that little child? That little child was always there for him. How does he know? Yeah. 
Does he have certain powers? So they were cursed, and yet they were blessed with this power. That's a massive advantage. It's like the gods wanted to give human race a chance against demons. This is so sad. He's speaking for the generations. For all the reincarnations. That's not enough. Not for the king of the demons. If he approached them after sunset, can they hold that long? Superior. Yes! This match is nothing to the strongest Hashira. And there we go. Sanami. Game over for you, Muzan. <laughs> and it spiked the rage within him. And will within all of them. Completely surrounded. Immobilized. Defenseless. Tanjiro knows. Tanjiro knows who that is. Wow. Are they all going to strike at the same time? Let's go and decapitate him. <laughs> no! The Infinity Castle. Smoozan's grounds full of demons. Holy sh! Them too? But they are in completely different place! Oh yes, Muzan knows the exact location of over 60% of demon slayers. And these guys too? They're not trained enough to fight against ranked demons. This is going to be a blood buff. Holy sh**. Well, these crows did a really good job to bring everyone synchronized. <laughs> I'm sorry, this guy is just the best. <laughs> oh my god, Ilske. Where is Zenitsu? This castle... It never ends. Oh? Zenitsu! Look how cold and badass he is, whatever happened to him in previous episode, whatever he learned about, he completely changed his personality into a thunder god. That really got them by surprise, didn't it? Oh, there we go, pair of lovers! <laughs> Oh, 
They look got separated. And Muzan right above him. I love Tanjiro. He acknowledged him by his name. That's personal revenge for Tanjiro. And for Muzan for hiding Nezuko. Wow, honestly, what an absolutely epic episode! Oh! Oh, lover! <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's so. I'm sure she's happy to hear that. Wow. <laughs> oh, Rengoku. It was his voice. Hi! Kanazu cut. cut. <laughs> Amazing! Oh my god, I love it so much. Oh my god, you guys. Obuyashiki, his wife and his children. They must have trained themselves all their lives to be able to perfect their calm demeanor and completely hide their feelings and hate. Imagine what they must have felt inside when facing Muzan with their own children's by. They've completely fooled them though. The great Muzan, the demon king, the eternal darkness. He's been fooled by humans with whom he shared his own blood. This is an incredible twist and I absolutely love it. On top of that, a massive fuck you from Obuyashiki clan when they blew themselves and everything around. This scene was absolutely badass. They've perfected the timing, the contents of explosives, and on top of that, Tamayo has executed her personal revenge on Muzan by concealing herself and planting Muzan's demise into his own body. Now, even if Muzan succeeds in, elim in eliminating Hashiras and other demon slayers in the Infinity Arc, Obuyashiki ensured that Muzan will meet his end by turning into the being he once was and he hates the most, human. And on top of that, the end of demon kind is near an end. With Muzan's death, the entire race will meet its end and humanity will finally reach its peaceful era after thousands of years. Or at least that's what I'm believing in because I might be wrong, but honestly guys, it makes me feel a little bit more at ease. The cliffhanger is not ripping my heart apart. There's something to look forward to. There is a hope in restoring the peace. What about the moment in which they've all been sucked into Infinity Castle? It broke me, but we felt this coming, didn't we? We knew this is where the most battles will happen because we had hints from the first episode of this season that the Infinity Castle could open out of nowhere, anywhere, at any time. But what incredibly saddens me though is that the fact that all the demon slayers have been sucked into the castle and not just the Hashira warriors with Tanjiro, even those ones that really cannot face the ranked demons, they stand zero to none chance in battle against ranked demons. Now I'd like to give credit to the crowds who perfectly fulfilled the roles and led all the Hashuas of Tanjiro to Master's Mansion in 
full synchro. Then, as a non-manga reader, I can only imagine what sort of atrocity happened to Zenitsu, whose calm and strong personality re-emerged from within his mind and pushed away the usual goofiness. Our thunder god is falling down the dark pit of Muzen's castle, and we can only imagine the hell he will unleash upon his opponents. I absolutely love the characters with split personalities. Also, who else has been absolutely enchanted by the visuals and music that perfected atmosphere of the show? My heart trembled for a moment when Muzen attacked Gyomei, but that couldn't be enough against the strongest Hashirai Demon Slayer's corpse. I loved seeing Muzan's shock and shocked face and betrayal painting on his face. I loved that his immortality has been threatened and the seed of his own demise has been planted in his own body by one of his own kind. Now, I can only hope that this would remain unchanged and that Muzan won't find a way to get, to get rid of it from his own body. Honestly, you guys, I can't wait for the next season. And I know that a lot of people are not happy that the Infinity Arc will consist of three movies, but honestly, I think if we get this anime in the movie format, we will not only get the perfected visuals and music, but also a whole hour or more of emotional roller coaster that will throw us to the hell and back. Now let's give our precious animators time to perfect this masterpiece. So thank you to the studio, quite probably, spending millions on bringing this masterpiece into our screens. And the voice actor for doing such amazing job and to making us feel emotions from the characters that made that were made so real. Koyoharu Gatush, you are an absolute genius for coming up with this story and giving us so many characters rich backstory and evoking so many emotions. Thank you so much and thank you, the person who decided this manga or give this anime a go just like me. You've completely immersed yourself in the story, haven't you? I hope to see you in the Infinity Arc movies reaction. Now, a massive thank you to my Patreons and people liking and commenting under my videos. Without you, I wouldn't be able to share this amazing journey with more people. If you like my reactions but aren't satisfied with the cut version on YouTube, I have a Patreon where you can gain access to uncut version in full opacity of your favorite anime titles, as well as Patreon exclusive videos. Every now and then I will be, hold I will be holding Patreon hour. My channel also offers YouTube membership, which can give you early access to my videos, special badges, and emojis. So I highly encourage you to join my YouTube family by subscribing and keeping an eye on my posts and videos. Time to time I will be holding small competitions on my YouTube channel in which you will be able to win Patreon monthly memberships or my own merch, which I am currently designing. So stay tuned and see you in the next video. Bye!